All right, good morning, guys. It is a brisk 35 degrees out here. And riding the bike in, whew, I'm gonna tell you what made it a lot quicker, but also a lot colder. And I'm gonna say thank goodness for this, this jacket right here, this warm jacket. I did a little video on it, guys. I finally reached out to the company and they did give me a discount code. So you can save 25% off this jacket, guys. It's gonna be awesome. Now, they don't have, only camouflage they have black and all different colors so definitely check the website out i'll leave it down below this jacket is a heated jacket and it's well worth the money as you guys i'm if you guys can see it or not but it's cold so anyway i'm gonna get up here i'm gonna hide the bike i'm gonna walk up here in this flat i'll see it every couple hours and then uh call it a day but i'm telling you so wish me luck guys bike is a, just a game changer i can't even remotely tell you how amazing this bike is it's crazy but i want to show you guys my setup real quick just got it all set up i'm gonna sit here probably for an hour then i'm gonna move to the flat over there for an hour and then i'm gonna go on home but let me show you my setup the low down hunting see guys i've talked about it numerous times it's amazing and i've partnered it with the uh the little umbrella blinds, which you'll see in a second. It's amazing. I'm going to do this for turkey hunting now for sure. Look. That's just one of them umbrella blinds you just screw in the tree. And then uh, if it rains, you know, you can put it over top of you while you're in the tree stand. They are fantastic. All right. Well, as promised, I was going to show you from the deer's perspective what this looks like. The blind I have set up kind of like blind kind of umbrella blind let me show you what it looks like if a deer was walking up on me so if you guys have those umbrellas a lot of people don't know i mean it says it on the box and all but a lot of people don't know that you can use them for a blind and i'm telling you you put two or three together and they're super lightweight and i mean incredibly packable i mean you have a Damn good blind. And if it rains, you got rain cover, so. All right, well, that was a spike. I saw him walking down the ridge. I wasn't sure how big he was at first. Wasn't sure if it looked like a doe. And then it was like 25 yards from me. Never saw him. Yet. He just now finally walked off where I could get moving again. But under normal circumstances, I would have smoked that spike. But on the lease, they've got horn restrictions which is completely fine so I have to abide by those rules yeah that deer never saw me and the good thing about it the wind was blowing right basically right up to it and with my cover scent that I make and if you uh, haven't seen that video check up here in the corner uh, I think that helped because I mean the deer never spooked and literally the wind is blowing on my back straight up to him so I don't know I couldn't get the GoPro out to record I had to use my Tacticam so hopefully uh, it worked we'll see okay since I've uh, saw that spike which was about two hours ago I haven't seen anything and uh, I'm 120 yards according to Onyx from where I saw those big rubs at. So I'm gonna hike over there real quick, about 60 yards and just kinda glance over there and see if I see anything. I don't know. It's a good evening. I mean, pretty good looking blind. 
I've been sitting here thinking about ways to improve it because that's the first model that they've ever made. So I got to think a good idea how to make it better. So about 60 yards from my stand, I'm going to show you guys what it looks like. All right, if anybody on the lease knows about that tree standing right there on Scruff Mountain, thank you for putting it there. It's beautiful. You got it in a good spot. I did see one doe. I've only been here about an hour. All right, good morning. Today, I got a good one for you. Hopefully, we kill a deer. But if we do not, here's what I did. I took my bike, my electric bike, and I put it about a mile and a half down the road, and I am going to hike a long way back to it. Most of it is uphill, so with that electric bike, it'll be a breeze coming back through here. It is very cold, 28 degrees. Tomorrow's supposed to be 26. <clears throat> I got my electric jacket on, as you guys. I don't know if you can see it, but it's blaring red, so that's a good sign. Uh, battery's fully charged. I am nice and toasty. Well, I walked almost a mile and a half and saw piles of scrapes, but I didn't see a deer one. And it took me, for 1.10 miles, it took me 4.1 hours to get to four hours and 10 minutes. So I took my damn time. But anyway, hit my bike over here, like I said earlier, and uh, nobody's messed with it. All right, it's time to go to the next spot. I think I got a good spot tomorrow to go for sure. I'm gonna bring uh, my blinds and everything, so time to move on.